Visit Hawaii, home to a shitload of over-commodified wonders. Waikiki, Waimea, whitewashing, this bullshit, and of course, Jurassic Park. As well as to America's least known military occupation. That's right, hordes of tourists visit every year, but sadly, few experience the real Hawaii. A sovereign nation illegally occupied by the USA since 1893, when a bunch of rich American businessmen overthrew the world-recognized Kingdom of Hawaii in a coup. Just like we did in Iraq, except in Hawaii, we never withdrew our troops. Instead, we built stacks of permanent military bases and annexed the territory without a treaty. Sure, native Hawaiians protested, but zero fucks were given, and we made Hawaii the 50th state of... So President Trump was right about one thing. Technically, Obama was not born in America, but in a foreign country illegally occupied by the USA. Today, each island offers a unique flavor of occupation for you to come and enjoy. Oahu, where tourist and military occupations work together in perfect harmony, plaguing the land and driving natives into poverty. Kauai, where Mark Zuckerberg is continuing the tradition of rich American businessmen pushing natives off their lands. Or why not just buy a whole island, like this rich howler prick did on Lanai? Maui, where rivers diverted to sugar farms have deprived natives of access to water. Molokai, where Monsanto is occupying the land with genetically modified crops. Kahol or whatever. The sacred island we bombed so hard for target practice we even cracked its water table. And finally, Big Island, where we plan to ram the world's biggest telescope right into the summit of Mauna Kea, the native's most sacred mountain. Visit Hawaii, the country you never even knew we were occupying. Authorized by the Department of Military Occupations disguised as tourist destinations.